We're at the put-in for the Wasissa River. We're just south of Wasissa, and we've just met with Jim to plan for him to transport the car to our pull-out place at Goose Pastures. How many miles is that, Steve, that we'll do tomorrow? Ten. Ten miles. It'll take us about four and a half hours. And so we're just checking where we're going to be putting in here. And there aren't many people, which is great. There's yeah. a lot of birds. And, and this is one of the springs right here. You can see the yep. bottom there. Uh, and there's a, like a Tarzan swing that they swing from here. And then here's where the river goes. And the river actually goes up a ways, but and we'll be going down that way 10 miles. And there's tons and tons of birds in this place. Bard Owl. Joy and I are on the back deck of the St. Mark's Refuge Visitor Center. Green blackbird eating bugs off a lily pad. It's Saturday, May 7th. Where are we, Joy? We're at the put in for the Wasissa River. It's about 52 degrees. Uh, clear. You can see a little bit of smoke on the water. We're hearing lots of birds. Whiffy right up above us. And we just saw the owl chasing something away over there to the right. Yellow crowned night heron. Cassidy Springs. Okay, I think we found Cassidy Springs and Joy's pulling us into here. It's a little indentation. This is it. This is Cassidy Springs. And they actually said it's a good place to get out. See right straight ahead yeah. you can get out. Yeah. And see the limestone here? Yeah, I do. And look at the spring like right the there. Fish. Yeah, I like the fish. There's the hole. There's the hole. Joy's gonna bring us right over the hole here. One of 14 springs that feed this river. Yep. And Nestle Company wants to start pumping water out of these springs. And, and um, so people, he says, see how you can dive in one hole yep. here yep. and the hole up there, you can come out. Yep. So there's two holes, you dive in this hole and you come out this hole. That's what the kids have been doing. Dry color. I've got grits and sardines and pole beans and collard greens. It's delicious and it's hot. It's hot? Mm -hmm. How'd you get them hot? Well, I microwaved it when we left. But look at the wood duck, mother and the babies. Type of water plant. There's a pillion right there on the tree. Stuff. Right there on the tree. Good picture. See, there's a little bird right at the bottom. To the right, Joy, to the right. How many babies you see? Go, go to the right a little, yeah.
is where we're heading. These two big cypress here are the entrance to Big Blue Spring, which is the largest spring on the, of the 14 springs on this river. We're paddling up the stream to get to the source of Big Blue Spring. You can see the current. You can see the current's going pretty good. And here it is. They have two floats here. What is it? A rocky bottom? Oh, right here, yep. Rocky bottom. And some sand. We're coming to the hole now. Yeah, we're coming over the hole here. Going back into the main part of the Wasassa River. Got like a sandy bottom stretch going right up through there. Looking back where we came. There's mosquitoes all around me. I'm gonna get in the canoe. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take off. Uh, we just stopped for a stretch here. Okay, we got five and a half miles to go just to get to the next uh, landing. And so we're gonna crank it up a little and Whoop, yep, big, big gator here, just went in. We're in a narrow section of the river now, but we'll be coming out into a big prairie that's real wide. And you've got this nice grassy bottom. Joy's doing a great job keeping us straight. We've got some white water up ahead here. It's a little railroad. It used to have a narrow gauge railroad bridge going across here. And um, the bridge is gone, but you have to go through this little sluice with the moving water. Joy's going to guide us through. Whoop, there's a little, uh, little sandpiper there. Yeah, we're going right through the sluice here. Bees on the pickerel weed. Perfumed spider lilies. And they've got a nice little shady spot here that they are blooming in. There's a gator underwater there. 
about a two footer, but I wouldn't want to mess with them. We're taking a little break. We're on one of these little side streams here. And there's the main river. Joyce says the moseys are getting her. I'm doing some eye exercise. Okay, Joy, how long have we been going? We've We're... been going almost five hours and ten minutes. Five hours and ten minutes, and probably only four hours of that is paddle, and we've been doing a lot of just taking pictures and enjoying. And you can see up ahead, this is the prairie we're going to come into. And probably a mile through this real wide section on the prairie. Oop, there's a gator going across up ahead. Uh, and going across the shore there, you can see him. And we'll see goose pastures on the left um, after we go through this big prairie. Heading out on Goose Pasture Road, and we'll take a right up here and then head to the paved roads. Probably 10 miles worth of dirt roads here before we get on the paved roads. So we are in the boonies of Florida.